Oh, you can you can hear that as I rub that cotton bud with Brasso over that surface. I mean, that's just not as smooth as it should be. It won't be as black as it once was either once we've done this of course with the real that nicely black and finish will be gone for a good deal of it. But this side would face the shutter blades and it needs to be nice and smooth. Well that's better. There's still a bit of roughness there. Okay, well I'll just do the other side of that and then clean it off. Right, well I'll put these pieces together. I'll give the setting lever a wipe with a bit of molybdenum paste there. I mean that should move smoothly. And it must go this way up. Because the lever's at the bottom of the shutter. So I'll put that on there like that. You can see the holes that the screws have to drop into from the moving plate and the moving plate is all nice and clean now that's been polished and that looks just good get these two screws started these hold the settings lever and this moving plate together and I'll just check the action that's nice and smooth it's it's there's a lot less resistance than there was before and it's nice and smooth so that's ideal and I can set to and clean these diaphragm blades which are quite good. There's just a little oily patch on that one. And some of its brothers. And they'll be at a point where those blades were sitting. You know, they, they all sat in the same relative position. And I'll clean all that up with naphtha and a cotton bud. And then assemble the diaphragm. Let's pop that to one side, pull one of these blades in. I'll show you what I'm going to do. So just want some naft on a cotton bud. You have to be a bit cautious with diaphragm blades because they've got the rivets on them. It's easy to catch a cotton bud on them and uh, bend them. Now the blades aren't symmetrical, the rivet is closest to the outside edge at one end and closer to the centre line of the blade at the other. And that's important when you go to put the diaphragm back together, that they will go around in the right orientation. Otherwise, things don't work right. So I'll just work my way through these blades. Very 
removing that oil that's on them. And one of the uh, advantages of cleaning things like this is it forces you to take close notice of the condition of the part and you might then spot a problem that otherwise would go unnoticed. Like uh, if there was a spot of corrosion or something on there. And of course it's very boring looking closely at 10 small identical objects. So your eye tends to skip over things. Right, I'll do these other blades and then put this back together. I can start assembling this diaphragm. So I'll start here with the retainer plate and start putting the blades in position. The blades just basically, they're interleaved. So they're over the next blade at one end, under the next blade at the other. Which is no problem until you get down to the last three or four blades. Then you've got to get them tucked in underneath. These blades are not sitting exactly flat either. There's a little bit of distortion at the ends around the pivots. That means they tend to lift and might lift out of the uh, pivot holes while I'm trying to get them arranged. Okay, so now we've got to start peeling some of these, push them back out of the way so I can get the next blade in. And I can see that the back of the this one here has already come out of its pocket. And now I've just knocked that, so I've probably knocked even more blades out of the place. Alright, I'm going to do those again. This is a job you may have to do more than once before you get it right. Something wrong with these tweezers, they've got something on them I think, a bit of adhesive or something. They're not picking up and letting go smoothly. You see I'm using a toothpick here to help me manipulate the blades into place. this shutter of course we've got the added complication that the moving plate stays with the case because the fixing the adjustment lever needs to go on before the case oh look at that what the hell's going on there I 
I'll just clean these tweezers, there must be something on them. Magnetized. I think these blades are magnetized. Okay, I'm gonna have to demagnetize all this stuff before I have a go at putting it back together. That's the problem here, the blades are magnetized. That's weird. Alright, let's see if I have any better success now. I've never had that happen before. So I had these blades all carefully laid out in the same orientation. Now I've got to be careful picking them up one at a time because some of them are put back down the wrong way up. Well, that's weird. Certainly assembling smoother. Lucky I had a demagnetizer handy to do that job, I suppose. Okay, one more blade and we'll be there. Now I've got to lift the first blades back over the top of this last blade without disturbing anything. Swing everything back into position. That looks good. Now I've got to get the case over the top and I've got to get these holes, these slots, lined up with those rivets. I know I need my case needs to go there. And 
and see if I can see where that I'm just going to line this up correctly I've got two fixing screws here one at the top and they correspond to here here and the one at the top We're going to get those over the pivots, giving that a bit of a wriggle, you can hear them clicking into place. Let's flip it over and see how I did. Here they've dropped in, I've got to rotate this whole business around a bit further. get the fixing screws in position. There's three fixing screws, they're all identical. I'll get those screws down very lightly because I don't know that all the blades fell into those slots correctly. And of course if I just tighten the screws up, if something's displaced, we'll end up damaging a blade, so I'm going to be very cautious here. Right, if I move, I'm moving the adjusting lever and I'm looking at the blades, the pattern of the blades and, and they're circular, the opening looks good. It looks like everything's in place. So I'll tighten those screws down a little bit more. And check that it's moving smoothly. Okay, so we have all our blades. We've got a nice circular opening. Everything's moving smoothly. So that operation was a success. Tighten those three screws up. That's the shutter case with the diaphragm mechanism in it all ready to go back together and I can turn my attention to the mechanism plate now which is here and I've got to clean this with naphtha to get rid of any grease that's on it and we know that the blade actuating ring was very very reluctant to return to the rest position it was sticky there's a lot of dirt coming off here to clean all these surfaces and the retard gear train I'm going to clean in place because it's very very awkward to adjusting the position of that retard gear train to get your shutter speeds correct of course it's not impossible but it's very very tiresome there's a lot of toing and froing involved and you, you can avoid that entirely if you don't take the, mechan the speed train off the mechanism plate to start off with. You clean it in place. Generally speaking you can clean it in place successfully. Sometimes you can't. Sometimes it's just too too dirty, too impacted with old oil and dust and you're going to have to take it off and clean it separately. But it's not something that you get into lightly because it's a nuisance trying to get that speeds adjusted correctly if you alter this in any way. So what I'll do is I'm going to work some naphtha into the speed train and basically that'll flush the pivots 
and any contaminants that are on the, the meshing teeth of the various wheels will just get knocked off. You can see the staining there that uh, there's certainly oils coming out of it. That's moving nicely now, and of course it's probably got a bit of naphtha still in there. That, that moves promptly. I'll flush it out again. And I'm holding back the pallets with my finger at this end while I work the arm. Pop that to one side. Clean these. This is the blade actuating ring and the retainer plate. That's very dirty. I usually lubricate this with some graphite powder which has one distinct advantage and that's that it never gets old and sticky unlike grease excuse me and the retainer plate wipe that clean there's certainly some staining coming off on that but nothing dramatic There's not great obvious patches of sticky grease. Okay, that looks okay. Let's put this together then. This only goes in one way. There's a pin on the top of this that couples to the mechanism. It runs in that slot. Likewise, this plate only goes on in one position. It's got a rivet that locates it right there. We had three screws for that. Now, one of them was a shorty and two long ones. Now, I know this was one of the long ones. doesn't want to start. It's better. I'm fairly sure this was the other long one. And the other one was short, so let's put the short one in there for a start and see what it looks like. Now this one needs to be short. I could tell because the uh, a long screw would come up in the middle of a channel there and block the lever from moving smoothly. Right, I'll get these three tightened down. Check the action of this blade actuating ring. That moves smoothly and freely. Nothing sticky there. 
Yeah, one of the screws would have come up through here in that channel. The other one comes up here at the end there, and here at the end there where they're, they're not in the way of anything. So we have the little lever that controls the blade actuating ring from the top of the uh, mechanism plate. So we'll put that in place. We give a wipe through the pivot point there with some molybdenum paste and put this in position. Now this lever was loose and free running when we started but the ring below it was not. Let's put the return spring on here. And this should be snappy in its action. That feels pretty good. And the speed train, what's that like? If I hold the pallets back, set this. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. If I let it run down slowly. Yep, yeah, that runs down smoothly. So I'm quite happy with the state of this mechanism plate now. I want to lubricate that with a bit of graphite powder. Before I do much else, I've got to do these shutter blades, which were sticky, with oil. And they'll need to be swabbed carefully with a bit of naphtha. And I'll look at, they, they look fine. I'll have to check the surface finish to make sure there's no corrosion or anything on them. But they, at first glance, they look very good. So all I've got to do is clean these, really, and make sure there's no oil on them. 